Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining us today. Um, as a CV alum and now director of the Collagio Paul Afro Lobby Call Success Program, I love this time of year. As we're busy checking in with our students, getting ready for our monthly workshops and events, um, making sure that students have all of the class materials and tech they need to be able to have a good semester. I love to take the time to pause reflect, honor, and celebrate the life of Collagio and everything that he did to support low-income and first-gen students. Our students are graduating college at a rate three times higher than the national average, and we're so happy that the program named after Collagio is realizing his vision. And we are so thankful for everyone who makes our program possible. We want to uplift and celebrate our students and their stories of overcoming challenges, stories of growth and success. Here they are. Hello everyone, my name is Angela Morales and I'm currently a Rhode Island college student. I just want to talk um, and share with you guys about how College Visions has been of great support for me. Um, during my first year of college, it was very hard because I was a freshman, first generation college student, and I feel like I didn't have the support from my parents, which I understand because um, I was the first person going to college in this country. So college patients, um, they were always there for me, their staff, they're amazing, especially my advisor. Um, when I was in college, she really encouraged me um, to like take the right classes and also um, we navigate together to look for textbooks more of more like an affordable price. Um, and I also received during the pandemic, which was so beneficial, I received their, um, their help. My name is Christopher Joy Rivera. I'm a first gen student. Um, my family, um, it means a lot to me um, because it's just been me and my mom. My mom only only went up to eighth grade, so me being able to graduate in May is a big thing. Um, I got thanks college for helping me, supporting me throughout. Um, just being there, you know, having an advisor like Susan. Um, I had advisors in the past like Tyreen, Raul. You know, every everyone has done has done their job, has helped out. You know, and it's, even dealing with me like being stubborn and like not listening or pay attention as much as I should. But like, um, it's it's been rough for COVID. It's been rough. Um, like it, it's just online classes have been terrible. Like it's kind of helps because there's a little leeway and stuff. But like. Sometimes, like for example, for uh, like a lab, it's way better in person. But you know, and, and it's like it's hard to stay focused because you're doing online classes, and like now that I'm back in school, like if it's a breath of fresh air to have class in person, even though the, like wearing a mask sucks. But like, um, I'm just hoping, like you know, down the line, just like just. Just things get better, but like it's hard. Like Rick, like teacher shortage, like a lab still has to be online and everything. And then like every single day, if you want to, if you go into like school, you have to like go online, go this this thing. You have to like check in and be like if you answer these questions. It's like you have to answer yes if you don't have any symptoms before you go to school. Um, good thing I'm vaccinated and I am well. Hi, my name is Kafwe. I am a third year at the University of Rhode Island studying theater and Africana studies. And going to college during a COVID year has been unique and unusual, uh, stressful, hard, challenging, um, trying to navigate the new uh, way of living, the new normal. However, I think it's given me an opportunity to overcome and adapt. And I think that's what being a first generation college student is about in general, um, being able to overcome and adapt and adapt um, in the face of adversities and, and struggles and trials. And I think that's what we, we do so well. So I'm grateful 
for it and for what I've gained along the way. So thank you. What's going on everyone? Uh, my name is Marquim Rodriguez. I am currently a junior attending the University of Rhode Island. I am a triple major in computer science, textile, fashion, merchandising, and design, and film media with concentrations in audio engineering, design, and public relations. Clearly, I hate my life, of course. Um, but yeah, I'm just here to talk about uh, my plans for the future. Um, so essentially, obviously, with those plethora of majors, um, I can really do anything, um, which is kind of a good thing, but it's kind of scary because it's just like, I can go into anything, but it's just like, where do I start? What do I really want to do? Um, so it's very interesting. Uh, but first and foremost, I just hope to like, this is be able to get a job in either the fashion and music industry. Um, but as a backup, computer science, as we all know, is a ter terrific job to be into. Um, so if anything, I can make sure I can still maintain my creativity bill if you speak if you sort of speak um and working as a computer science uh like a software engineer doing ui ux design uh for either 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 a, a tech like a big tech company or even like a startup um so that's the beauty of computer science um of course uh fashion music is a little a little bit harder to get into very subjective um but i know once i get my door in the door i'm very confident in myself um and the ability to basically execute and get the things that I want to get done um, and to continue to grow within those industries uh, and to just pretty much just make a change, um, create a bridge for other black and brown people to venture out into fashion and music because it is a major, it's an industry that many people tend to not float to because of, you know, parental... Uh, expectations um, pressures and just it's just hard you know like again it's a very subjective thing um, so I hope to be able to basically do what I got to do to help them in the next future and just create that cycle What's good, y'all? My name is Worth Belgen. I am a junior at the University of Rhode Island. I'm also studying computer science. Um, I'll be talking about life, um, I guess, like college life during the COVID, COVID pandemic, pretty much. Um, <clears throat> so last year, I was um, an RA. I still am an RA, but I was on campus. I was probably one of the few people on campus. There weren't too many of us. Um, but, I mean, to just, like put it shortly covid like college life during covid was difficult like i'd say it was like mentally um draining the most to be honest um there's a lot going on just having all that time to think having all that time to yourself and like all these like rules being put on to everyone and just like it m making people not want to um you know be around people or just like you know be social it was it was definitely very difficult um i'm like for example like i just learned a couple of days ago that some places on campus were open and full of people meanwhile i was in my room almost every single day just lonely and like trying to get work done um i would honestly also say that like like that year in general was probably the hardest year of my life the hardest year of my college life just the hardest year ever like for me mentally it was the worst like i just there was just so much going on and just the fact that the way the world was going and like you don't know if you were going to get COVID today or your friends are going to get COVID tomorrow those things those thoughts running through your head was was definitely um it was definitely um a burden to say the least and then put on top of that um virtual classes which is like professors who some were lenient some could have been a lot better but some were just cool and you know it was very difficult to navigate in all honesty um fortunately for me i definitely did have people on campus that i could like uh reach out to but it, it definitely was overall difficult i would say that cv definitely helped with that um in so many different ways sometimes like um our advisors just like checking up on us meeting with us sometimes you know things like that it definitely went a very long way 
I'm just showing that there are people out there who still care for us because even during the pandemic and during COVID, I was just like, yo, what is going to become of CB? Like, I, I was, there was just like so many thoughts, like CB was a home to me. When, when I would like, um, sometimes I'd come back to Providence, like on um, my first year of college, and I would literally go to the office and go say hi to everybody, give everybody a hug, just like, just like chill and like, you know, update people on my life. But like, understanding that that, at that moment, temporarily was not available and thinking about the other people who really needed those things, the fact that that wasn't available was, was honestly heartbreaking. Honestly, the, um, obviously there wasn't anything that could have been done about it, but it was it was a lot to say the least. But I'm definitely very thankful for my CV family, um, for my advisors, Always. Tina, Susan, T, Monet, every every everyone. Every, everyone. everyone. Like just like I can I can just tell the amount of work that they put in daily, like. And just the, the fact that they had to adapt um, during this situation, like it just showed that, like re that um, regardless of like the situation the world is in, CV's job can't just stop. It's, it's not over. Like there's still students out there who need that help, who need that guidance, who need who need um, someone to like help put them through the college process and make sure that they're okay in the college process, to make sure that they're comfortable, make sure that they're succeeding. Unfortunately, like I couldn't, I wouldn't have um, wanted anyone else or any other organization to be that for me or to be there for me other than CV. So um, overall, I'm just thankful, thankful for CV, thankful for everyone over there. I think that they could definitely, um, you know, alleviate some of that pain, some of that uh, stress. Uh, um, stress that was going on yeah. during those um, couple months. I can definitely say would not be in where I am in college or just life in general if it wasn't for CV. Definitely, so, yeah, I agree. you know, we need more great people like y'all. Um, and that's really it. Yeah. Just keep putting the work. We're going to keep executing. Um, yep. just, just keep growing. That's really it. Thank you. Hi, I'm Larise, and I am a second year here at the University of Rhode Island. I'm majoring in HDF Human and Family Sciences on the pre-PA track, and being a first-generation student has influenced my academic and career goals greatly. Being college-bound is more than wanting a goal. It requires me to be my best self, and I want to continue to stay on track with being successful to earn my bachelor's degree and attend PA school. My goal is to become a pediatric PA. I have always loved working with kids and was influenced to enter the medical field when I saw the way my dad was supported and taken care of during his time at the hospital when he was sick. And I will excel in helping children the way my parents have helped me, and that is by providing the necessary support for people in need. I will end the cycle of my family members not attending college. My siblings and I will be the first generation and last first generation students in my family. And I just want to thank CV for all their hard work and the support they have provided me my senior year and these past two years while being in college. Without them, I don't know what I would have done. Thank you.